Come on, traitor. Give me, give me my money. Give me my money. Hmm. What time is it? Of day. Uh, looks like it's. Where's where? Where's the moon? The sun? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know, Sky. Um. That. That's new to me too. Um. I played the the beta when it came out a long time ago and there's a lot less I'm sure there's some kind of backstory to go with it but I uh, don't know what that is uh, don't I have an archer? hello hey you I not only have one archer but can you go kill that thing please? or how about you can you kill them please? Oh uh, heck. Oh uh, heck. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was almost really bad again already. Okay, last of today two. Huzzah! Man, I was on day 33, I think. Gosh darn it. Huh. Such is life. Okay. I like that theory, Sky. Plus, I mean, it just makes sense. It's it's always your your dead wife or possibly your daughter. Um, your ghost comes back to, like I said, guide you. And there definitely is a pointing thing going on when when they first come up. Okay, cool. So the dock's on the right. Oh wait. That's not a dock. Just kidding. That's a bridge. I got a little excited. Oh wait, this is the first level again, right? Yeah. So, even though certain parts are randomly generated, um, the portal should still be on the left. And then, yep, and then, okay. And the dock is on the right. So, now that we have our bearings, we can continue to build our army. Um, there is tons of stuff new in this game. So, previously, first of all, there was just the one level. There wasn't multiple levels. Um, there's no boat. They still have the buffs. Um, but there was no actual progression. Um, yep, the archers, the they run now. The peasants run now as well. Um, or can, I guess. Everybody just previously would just walk everywhere, which is extremely annoying. Um... The, this little traveling merchant guy so before it was just a chest that every morning it would just give you coins now you have to send them out mm, not sure what thing you're referring to um, there's actually a small delay from what I'm looking at and what y'all are seeing, so. Uh, 
Oh, it was like a... Yeah. I'm not sure. It's like a... This weird shrine thing. I'm not honestly sure what it does, though. If I had a guess, I'd say it's probably another buff of some sort. But I don't actually know. Yep. That's a nice addition as well, for sure. There's Seasons, which is another new thing. Weather effects, uh, the water, the graphics in general are a bit better. And the boat's way over here. Alright. Oh. Money chest, I'll take it. Here's another one. I'm not honestly sure what they do. Oh, damn. Shouldn't have done that. My builder's gonna run a heck of far to build that. And then... is gonna get killed by the goblins. Ooh, an archer shrine. Heck of far away. I'm not sure about the differences. I believe the. I think in the Royal Edition you just get the soundtrack. Oh shit. That's true. Farmers used to be a great source of income. Now it seems like they're... It's barely even worth it now. I mean, it's still a necessity for sure when you only have so much real estate to work with and they can only shoot so many rabbits and deers to get you money. But yeah, I agree the farmers are much um, slower. Yeah. I love me some archers. That is a coup. Occasionally. You know, like I probably only have ever have two builders at a time. Don't they still need a spawning point though, like um like a bush or I remember before if you if you built out too far then your spawning point of rabbits or deers would just go away. Yeah, yeah, the, the reeds, I agree, but if you build past that point, then won't that uh, no longer be a viable spawn point for the rabbits? And this thing right here, so in my first playthrough, this is the trader's camp, which also wasn't in the original, if you played it or if you recall. So I built out too far and I got rid of that fairly quickly on accident. 
and then my trader just went away and that dude gives you bank like every day so yeah I'm not I'm not trying to do that nonsense forth and get me money please good trader um, a better wait for the next day just to be safe although I can build this up ooh I have a new flag it's a gargoyle I like the random generation aspects of all this stuff though. I mean it's all the same stuff but they're in different places so you have to play it a little bit differently each time. Yeah it's a tough call. I mean rabbits make you decent money. And farmers now take forever, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like right now, this is just set up, obviously, but I am gonna have to expand out here so I get a farm over here. Expand probably to this tree right here. Once I get to this tree, as long as I don't take out this last tree, then that will stay there. I'm going to leave the right side alone and slowly expand to the left. But that peasant camp is probably going to go fairly soon. Yeah, that's a lot of farmers. If, if you have that many farmers going, then for sure that makes sense. Yes, yeah, guy, that game was hyped up big time. Um, I've heard um, mostly negative things. Um, I really haven't heard from anybody that is just like yeah, amazing. You gotta be careful with the farmers though, um, Crab. If you, I mean, obviously if they're safe, then they're safe and life is good, but if you extend just a little too far and those goblins come in and get them, it's a lot of wasted money. Each of those scythes costs a, costs a lot of coins. But I mean, you know, you obviously know that They, they also don't run back, which is annoying. Like, I think they should come back behind the walls like your, um, like the archers do, but they don't. Well, there you go. How do you, how do you destroy?